One of the questions I'm constantly being asked is how much does it cost to sell a house in Anne Arundel County? So what I'm gonna do right now is go through the cost and what's involved in selling a house. So the first thing we need to know is there's three components that make up the cost in selling a house. The first component are your government fees. And there's three government fees and transfer taxes that are involved when you sell a house. And there depends on what county you're in, but the first one is your county transfer tax. For example, today we're looking at Anne Arundel County. So in Anne Arundel County, there is a 1% transfer tax. The next transfer tax we have is your state transfer tax. For the state of Maryland, the transfer tax is a half of a percent. If you were to sell your house to a first time home buyer, their half of the half a percent is waived, um, but it does not affect the seller side. The third thing that we have is we have recordation fees slash tax. And in Anne Arundel County, that is $7 per thousand, per thousand. Okay, so that makes up the government fees that go into selling your house um, in Anne Arundel County. The next thing you're gonna have are title company fees. Now the buyer generally chooses what title company is used and there are some fees that are passed on to the seller to do the closing, to do some research, to send out payoffs, to follow up with the recordation of those payoffs to make sure your house is free and clear when the house is sold and those um, are title company fees. And they range from title company to title company. Um, generally speaking, I would say it's anywhere between 500 and 1,000. Again, depends on what title company you use, but generally speaking, that's a, that's a good range. And the third, and probably the most expensive cost when you're selling your house, if you use a real estate agent, is real estate commission. Those are the three components that make up um, the cost of selling your house. Now, obviously, if you have mortgages on the house, they have to be paid off at closing, but those are the, um, the costs involved. So let's break them down for a $700,000 house, okay? So we're gonna say at $700,000. Now, transfer tax and recordation are usually split. Um, depending on the market, depending on the negotiation, um, being split is more common than not being split. So a 1% transfer tax is $7,000. Half of that, the seller would be responsible for $3,500. Half a percent on $700,000 is 17, actually it's 3,500, and half of that is $17.50, and $7 per thousand on $700 is $4,900. Half of that is $24.50. Those are the fees that the government's gonna take. Now, a title company fees, we're just gonna assume on the high side, so we'll say $1,000. Now, real estate commission, one thing to know about real estate commission, it is negotiable. Real important concept, real estate agent's commission is negotiable, all right? The typical agent right now is charging 5%. And how that's broken down, that's broken down at 2% to the listing agent and 2.5% to the buyer's agent. And again, 
totally negotiable, but I've been seeing that on a lot of different listings and um, we're going to go with that. So 5% of $700,000 is $35,000. Most real estate agents also brokerages charge a flat fee commission. And that's anywhere from, I would say, 400 to 1,000 there. Now, I offer a different program to the, um, the typical 5% agent. How my program works is I charge 3.5%, and how that's broken down is broken down to 1% to the listing agent. In this case, it would be me and two and a half percent to the buyer's agent. And my flat fee is 695. Okay, so if you take three and a half percent from 5%, you're saving one and a half percent. Now, how much is that in real money? Well, one and a half percent of $700,000 is a substantial amount of money, right? We're looking at Ten thousand. Now I'm doing my math off the top of my head, so you're looking at one and a half percent, which is ten thousand five hundred dollars savings. So my commission to sell this house is twenty four thousand five hundred dollars. I still have a flat fee, just like every other agent has. But that would be the, my program, how my program works. Now, my program is a full service listing. You're not going to get $10,000 less in service. Um, we're still going to do all the marketing, all the postcards, the 3D Matterport, the professional pictures, um, the postcards, all the things that have been successful in me in selling houses for over 20 years. This program I put in place almost 20 years ago. I use it for all of my deals and it works. It works great for me and it works great for my clients. It saves them a lot of money. And what it also does, it also gets me advocates out there because they know how much, how my program saved them money, the, the service that I gave them. And, and it's just a situation where they start referring me people. So if you're wondering what it costs to sell a $700,000 in Anne Arundel County, the big difference is these are all the same. Everyone has those. It's going to be the real estate commission and who you choose to represent you. So with my program, again, 3.5% versus 5 on a $700,000, you are saving that much money. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm here to help. Thanks.